Alright guys, so what I have in my table today is two Garrett GT17 turbo turbochargers. Of course, it's a Saab channel. They're both out of a Saab. This is out of my um, 2000, or what, in the car I had, 2003 9.5. The blue one, if, you have, if you're a subscriber on this channel, the blue one that I had, that got sold and unfortunately scrapped uh, because it was found rust in the rocker panels. Uh, which is a MOT failure here, here in Norway. So that car got sold, and some pieces were took off, tough, took off, taken off it. I took some pieces myself. I took the seats, for instance. For instance. I took a working DI cassette and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, this was actually the turbo which was on there uh, earlier because I installed a TDO 415T on it. Um, no, it's a 15T, yes, it's a 15T, yes. Um, uh, 15T short nose TDO4, uh, which is out of a 07 Aero with the big intake, Tor Cobra. I had that installed, but I just had to get rid of the car really fast. Some complications here with the landlord, or well, landlord, the owner of this house, couldn't have more cars here, so I just had to get rid of it. <laughs> Um, so, um, yeah, this is out of that, uh, and this is out of a, the engine I picked up just recently for free. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that engine in here, in my room, believe it or not, uh, soon, but it's very heavy, so, uh, I will have to find a way to get it in here, because I want to work it and strip it down as much as I can, and, uh, go over it and make it as new. Anyways, this is the turbo off it, and, uh, these two turbos, believe it or not, have the, uh, apart from the same mileage or same... Uh, running miles on them or something like that. I don't know what to call it. I just want to show you something here because oil changes, you know, those are important, especially on SOPs. This one here has been running on the car with pretty decent oil oil change uh, routines. And uh, if you look at the shaft play on this thing, turn the light here, it's actually within spec. It's not too bad and it still spins really freely. That thing works like a charm. This thing, uh, however, same mileage, remember, look at this. Yes, that is actually hitting inside there. And if we try to go in from the back here, so see if we can manage that. And uh, there is the exhaust wheel. Look at that. Yeah, that thing is not uh, worth putting back on the car. It could probably, it's not, like hasn't destroyed itself, hasn't blown blown apart yet, so you could probably you could still what it looks like here looks like you could probably actually rebuild this. Uh if you so want to. Uh probably if is there if the rebuild kits are cheap, maybe. Maybe I have a project on my hands rebuilding this turbo so I have a little better turbo. But as you can see in the housing on these they're pretty this they're pretty like they are both genuine Garrett GT17 turbochargers, uh, except this has the writing on the housing itself, like stamped on. But this thing has done it cheaply. So here is a plate, and yes, it says Honeywell right there, and yes, Honeywell is the supplier for Garrett turbos. So this, I, I believe, well, it has to be newer because. I believe newer turbos have that plate on them, but the older one doesn't. So, um, yeah, it's a cheaper way to make them. You could just make a little plate like this and slap it on there. But the housing themselves, you can see the casting here, like everything is the same. So, they are the exactly the same turbo charger. Here as well, this is a new. This is a new oil drain with uh, this turbo that car had on it. This is the old old style. These uh, these types here is has a tendency of cracking and stuff, so they are a good idea to replace. Um, yeah, actually, it appears to look newer because I actually see some raw metal here. This actually appears to be newer, which is weird. Uh, the housing itself is actually a bit bigger. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that? It just sticks a bit more out here. That's interesting. So it actually seems like it has a bigger housing. I don't know. Maybe a better exhaust flow? There's the gasket. I don't know. Maybe. But it's really bad, this turbo here. I felt it when I picked up the engine because 
the engine, well, the turbo was still on the engine when I picked it up, but the exhaust was of course off. Uh, so I put my hanger in there, finger in there, felt that turbo, and I just felt, oh my god, that thing is shot. So this thing, well, installing this in your car, you will be maniac. This thing is still fine. So this is the, probably the turbo which is go, will go back on that engine. Um, because this thing, it looks nice and stuff like that, and it spins freely. And remember, when these things fill up with oil pressure, the shaft plate is, is uh, reduced because there's oil in that which compensates for the free room. So um, this thing is still usable. That's probably why this hasn't destroyed itself yet because it had oil pressure in it. So the the oil kept it from like yeah destroying itself. So there you go. That's two turbochargers. This one broken. This one's still working. So change your oil, guys. Change that goddamn oil.